Hello. 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 Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to a, another vlog. Um, thank you so much for keeping up with me so far in all these crazy amounts of vlogs that I've been uploading. So today is a busy, busy day. I'm so far behind. I'm literally a couple of hours couple of hours behind on what I need to do which I know is nothing new if you obviously come to the vlogs regularly you know I'm always behind got my washing hung up <laughs> I really need to find a more of a conventional way to dry my washing because right now having it hung on my radiators on my window sills is not yeah it's not how it should be but Marcus and I are gonna go ahead and we need to run to Tesco's we need to pick up some of Mia's milk we need to pick up some stuff because we want to bake today we managed to have quite a nice day yesterday well no actually it wasn't a nice day I lied so yesterday I got up and I cleaned the house which is why I've got washing over as well because then I did like loads of washing an airport run and then by the time I come back I was shattered I ate with Marcus we were literally just gonna get into bed and watch a movie because I said we've not done that in absolutely forever Forever. and yeah it didn't happen but I was I didn't actually end up vlogging yesterday because I well had the fashion over video which I've now uploaded which you've seen so technically it gave me a day off that I didn't need to vlog for which was absolutely fine but it was just a very boring day I literally just went and did an airport run which took up so many hours of my time that it wouldn't have been exciting for you to see anyway which means that now we'll catch you back to normal uh vlogging today and then you guys seeing it the day after we're yeah off to tesco we're gonna go grab some stuff to bake we're gonna decide what it is we want to cook later and we are just gonna have like more of a chilled day at home once we've got all the bits sorted outside the house which is basically just that and i really need to go ahead and catch up on my instagram as well because i've not done that all morning just take the ball how's that red card Wait. <laughs> hey, you're attacking my legs red card <laughs> foul I can't whistle. Next. You got me as dirty nappy. Oh, goal. That's a goal, technically. Technically, yeah, that's a goal. Legs twice. Whatever. So because Marcus has had some toast, I've put a quiche in the fridge in the fridge in the oven for myself. And feed Mia a potato waffle and see if she actually eats it because it's never a good idea to go out on a hungry stomach. So that's what I wanted to avoid and see if meme schemes actually eats a potato waffle. Don't stop giving a Chris. Yeah, mad man. Just letting her taste it. Do waffle? Huh? Night. So this is a quiche. I picked up a vegetable Mediterranean quiche from the um, place we went to the other day that you saw with the bakery and whatnot. Uh, well, yeah. So it looked really nice. I thought I'd pick one of them up. I'm gonna have that for a lunch. Say no prescription general so they know what they're looking for. Cheer up Marcus. I'm gonna see if there's any like baby rust for meme schemes because she's not tried them yet. So I really wanna see if there's any that she'll be able to have. What age is this for? Seven months. She'll be alright with that supervisor, I reckon. She's almost seven months. So we can try that. And then what else? Little cheese and apple milk sticks on. Tomato and basil milk sticks, you might like that. We'll try them from Ella's Kitchen. What else? <gasps> that just fell on his horn. No, is this Tesco's haunted? Is it haunted, Marcus? That legit just fell on its horn. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> Imagine. I think Russell and friends just wanted some free advertising. Uh, what else can we get? Huh? Well, I've got some of these, so we'll we'll try these. Pick her up some Ella Kitchen Thai curry. Where's that? From ten months. Where's that? Curry oh yeah. <laughs> well, she can't have them, can she? Because it won't be halal. Someone sent me. Uh, well, actually, Kanisha sent me in Asda. Get them strawberry and banana melty box. Cause that'll be good because they'll melt straight in a mouth. Yeah, I got some. Uh, yeah, but they're, they're more ones. thingy then. The melty sticks will be. Oh, these are from six months. Yeah, they'll Carrot. be right. Grab it. Ah, okay. We'll get found some. Um, yeah, can you tell me there's some in, um, you know, Asda mm -hmm. that are basically halal? 
so maybe we'd make a trip to Halal, uh, Halal. Maybe take a trip to Asda, some Halal babe food. Can't remember what the company is called. Halal. Halal. <laughs> we'll have to have a look. Me golden syrup. Okay, we will get some. Oh, golden syrups here. Let's get. Oh, what's forty-one? Oh, this one works out better. I'll get some golden syrup. Oh, Marcus, where's that ginger cake? Me and Ray tried to find it last time. Oh, it's so good. I can really want to find it again. What are we baking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Yeah, let's decide. Marcus and I really want to do a cheese board so we can have a look to see if we can grab some bits for it because uh, we've been saying it for absolutely ages. That we wanted to do one, and we I don't intend think on doing one tonight. Board exists, so you pick up different cheese, but sometimes I have ready-made ones. All right, let's have a quick look. Then. So we'll have, yeah, we'll have a quick look. It's got a ready-made one. If not, then we'll have to pick some more. Oh, there we go. That's your cheese board. And we just have to check that we can have all. It's all oh It's not a lot for ten pounds. Yeah, to be fair, we can just see where they are over there. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so there's cheese board there, but we'll see. So, we picked up some crackers the other day. And we were planning on having a cheese board. So we went to Tesco to pick up some cheese, because we had no cheese. Picked up, I think, four different types of cheese. Didn't want anything that had blue in it, or green, or red, because it looked like it was nasty. And ended up sort of reminiscing about what we were in Paris. And Iris's cousin and her husband did a racquette for us uh, with what was it like? Yeah. Cheese. Oh, it was just it was so nice. The cheese as well. We do it here, like at Christmas markets and stuff like that. But over there, they have um, stalls with baguettes, and they scrape off this cheese, like off the, off this like round cheese ball thing. Oh, and it's just dead. Oh. I don't even know what, how to explain it. So it. It's just like dead stringy, like creamy, yeah. beautiful cheese in a baguette. It's like the best cheese toaster you've ever had in your life. And raclette is a thing so over there in winter. If you guys go back to the vlogmas uh, of last year, you can literally hear Marcus that it's just cheese and bread. And then literally tell me to say like, oh, can we go get some Oh, more? it's so nice. <laughs> so nice. So yeah, so we're off to um, Asda. Okay. No, Argos. To pick up a raclette machine. We're then going to another Tesco where we can get some halal meats. Yeah, basically. And I think we're going to need the proper cheese. I don't know what cheese we'll need. Because you need that proper stringy cheese, don't you, to put on? So we'll need to check that out. Ooh, mm -hmm. do you reckon we can make like a chicken and barley with it? <gasps> yes. Because oh, actually, that's the same it's thing, isn't it? Already, yeah, we can get the yeah, already made chicken and just put the cheese on top. <gasps> oh, that'd be so good. I don't know if that's how you make it, but I, I feel like it's that kind of cheese. I love how it's gone from cheese board to cheese fest. <laughs> well, not even just that. We've gone from spending £6 on a cheese board to £50 on a raclette from Argos because you <laughs> needed it right now. I couldn't. It's just a craving. Like, I need it. It's a very expensive craving. We could have gone and got steak. would have covered fuel on the way down. The thing is, though, we will use it, like, a lot. And we made a mistake of last year when we came back from Paris. We literally saw the raclette uh, machine in Aldi, and we just never picked it up, did we? I don't know why. But it was like twenty-five pound then. That's what I'm saying. So I now know. we've yeah kicked Spencer ourselves. But it was habits. one of them moments where we weren't gonna have it there and then. And I was like, no, leave it for now. Oh, it's so stupid. But it's expensive. We, we could go pick up a Nando's for less. I'll go there. Nando's. That's a one-off. Whereas this, you can have forever. Again everyone i am just editing and mark has made us a quick salmon pea and broccoli risotto it's just a frozen one but it's so tasty just trying to find a film for us to watch i'm gonna go ahead and finish editing because i'm really need to get this vlog up today because i don't want to ruin my streak and i'm running really behind because it's quarter to seven and Mia's asleep on the sofa which so it's not good looking good because her nighttime routine is gonna be messed up now i'm just gonna take it as it is and crack on hello Doo -doo -doo. i'm just working on getting the vlog up it's not up just yet and the kitchen is a mess once again it's the same old stuff i actually don't know why you guys come back and watch these vlogs because you can probably guess how much how my day goes to be fair i'm gonna give this quick spruce up and then marcus and i are going to attempt to making that cheese board that we picked all the bits up for i'm so excited for it i cannot tell you because cheese is just what 
honestly i think it's what keeps our marriage together <laughs> i'm kidding but we are very much two cheese lovers so yeah we are oh, i need to update you so we didn't end up getting the raclette set because obviously aldi stopped doing it and then i went to argos and the only argos that did it was on the other side of the city i would have gone but marcus said no so we went with no he said i was being ridiculous and he also said well if they told you it was in manchester you'd be ready to go which was very true but i'm thinking now should I just no i'm gonna have a look and see if i can if i'm waiting for one now anyway i might as well see if i can find a cheap one online so i'm a little bit sad about that we are we're gonna make the cheese board and then we've also got some of them desserts left that we picked up the other day so it's gonna be a very indulgent night and hopefully i'm hoping we catch an early night mia is very much awake wide awake because marcus allowed her to nap in the car for a long time then she came home and she was still asleep and didn't wake her up so we're just gonna have to deal with that i'm thinking get the cheese board pop a movie on in bed take some desserts up and start tomorrow off right <laughs> by starting tonight i would like to get up i woke up early today and then i managed to pray get up get ready and i can't tell you where the day went so we were supposed to go shopping today to a shopping center in manchester to get some christmas presents for mark's family however we just decided against it just because of the way the day was going so i'm hoping we do that at some point later on in the week but we shall see and i'm gonna go ahead and do the kitchen now and then we're gonna get our cheese board and we don't know how to make cheese boards so if you're looking for any tips on that you'll not find them here but you can see like two novices try it right everyone marcus has gone up because he has a migraine and mia has been a very big pain so he's trying to put her to bed now i have never made a cheese board before so i'm actually have to google what they're supposed to look like as much as i enjoy eating them i do not pay attention I just typed in Google because I was thinking of Google of what they're supposed to be. Oh god, I can hear her crying. Honestly, I'm so sorry if this is a very short vlog, but it's literally the cars that we dealt with. Oh, we didn't get any grapes. We don't actually have a cheese board, but I have these grey slates which are like what you put your plates on. So I've just given that a wipe with the anti back and I'm just gonna start to basically layer up on there and see how I get on. I'm just looking at pictures online. right guys so this is what i've come up with for now um any cheese board experts experts any cheese board experts are probably screaming at me saying this is completely wrong and completely horrendous however i don't know what i'm doing and i think it looks all right are we gonna eat all of this tonight no so i'll probably have to come downstairs and bring this all back down which is gonna be good fun however we are gonna give it a very good attempt we only had like a small dinner so i'm hoping that we can't eat a lot of this but i also want to take it for dessert so we'll see how that goes like i said we had like them little desserts left in that bakery um but i apologize like i said to take mia's bottles up i'm gonna have to do a couple of trips up and down the stairs now because mark has literally just left me to it i'm gonna have to take mia's bottles up take this board up take the desserts up and as much as I am a mama, I only have two hands. So I need to pack all of this away. Honestly, the kitchen is one of the rooms in the house that gets messiest the quickest. And I don't know why at all. We didn't bake today, so we'll be baking in the next one for you. And hopefully you'll join us for that one. And for now, I bid you good night and thanks for joining us. We are munching on our cheese, but it's actually quite nice, isn't it, Marcus? Mm -hmm. Really nice, really nice snack. And yeah, I got the desserts there for later. And I bought some more fairy lights from all well, the Christmas tree lights, but I used them as fairy lights from Tesco and I really like them on there. It makes it very nice and cozy. 
My love has lit some candles. And with this, we bid you good night.